So, in the previous episode, we were in the... Where were we? We were in the barracks, and we took down Ronwyn and his Sapphire deck that was ridiculously easy. And today, we are going to go to the stables and see what's going on there. What? Where did you come from? Said the Legionnaire. Maskless. Sorry, masked, faceless legionnaire. I'll let you take the oldest horse you have and flee with your life. Flee? The legionnaires do not flee, Shinhair. We are charged by his majesty, King Gabriel himself, with patrolling and defending the borders of the free realms from hostile incursions and preventing aggressors with pernicious intent from... Ugh, stop. If you're not going to flee or shut up, then you die. God. Legionnaire Strike, Basic, Ruby, 5. Deal damage to target troop equals the highest attack amongst troops you control. Sunder Armor, at the end of your turn, if a warrior you control deal damage to an opposing champion, add two vulnerable counters to that champion. Don't know what vulnerable is, just like I didn't know what dazed was, but we're about to find out. So, we are going second. We're up against the Legionnaire of Gawain. Gawain? Gawain. Uh, Sunder Armor, we know about... Uh, don't know about vulnerability. I'm sure we'll find out. But two, 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 two. With a blood and a wild shard. This is fine. Okay. So we know he's a mono ruby deck. That's all I know. Uh, but there we go. We've got a turn one play in the form of blood bearer. The shin hair noises are so cute. Okay, nothing from our Legionnaire friend. Uh, given the lack of shards in my hand at the moment, I'm going to attack for one first. I'm actually just going to play the Moon Aryu Sensei. Draw a card. Don't get a shard still. This is worrying. I don't really want to be stuck on two resources. There's a 2 1. Inspire. There's another troop with cost equal to or greater than this troop's cost enters play under your control. That's got to die. That's gonna, just got to straight up die. Um, we will go to combat first. Hope it blocks. Doesn't. Okay. And then we'll follow up with a shoot shot. Still stuck on two. Um... And our opponent's not doing anything either. Still stuck on two. We'll attack for three. Because we've got a Shroom Shore already out. We're going to play another one. Because we really want our Shin to get minus two when uh, the Shroom Shores die. There's a three, two. Troops you control get plus one attack this turn. But that means nothing. Still no shard. There we go. And then we go to combat. Going to attack with both the shroom shores. Conky bunny for free. And then we'll end the turn. Well, that's what we wanted. There's a 3 2. Yeah. So everything gets plus 1 plus 1. Uh, we'll block with this and this. Moonary Sensei's done its job. We're up to 25 thanks to the two blood bearers that are out on the field. There's another. Uh, we can kill now this 3 2. Uh, proceed to combat. Attack with the only... We've got a ton of zero ones, which is nice, I guess. But not really what we're after. We'll play a concubine and then end the turn. I mustn't forget at the end of my opponent's turn to actually do something. Okay, so this is now alive. Deal damage to target troop equals the highest attack amongst troops you control. We're doing fine. Um... We are going to create more bu uh, bunny hoppers, or battle hoppers, sorry. 
Uh, there's an execute. But with my opponent having nothing out, we're just going to attack for four. And then pass the turn again. Uh, I'm in no rush to play this Abominate. Absolutely no rush. And my opponent's still not doing anything. So we will create some more bunny rabbits. With no sack outlet. Uh, there's the blood shard. We will attack for four again. And then can't play the shroom tank because we only have one wild. And we need two. There's a 1-1. One, one. Wounded war hero gets plus one plus zero for each other human you control. Sure. Target troop gets plus four. Yep. And then what are you going to kill? Are uh, you going to kill the shroom more? Sure thing. Uh, end of turn. Exhaust some bu bunny hoppers. Make more battle hoppers. Bunny hopper, battle hopper. It's the same thing, really. Right? There's an evolve. Uh, thank thanks for playing. Attack with everything but the concubunnies. Whee! Well, that was thrilling. <laughs> but a win to win, we'll take it. Legionnaire goes down. 200 gold, 150 experience. With the Legionnaires, with the Legionnaire in cap. With the Legionnaire incapacitated and the stable secured, the fort's war horses, are war horses, war horses are yours to command. Search the area. You discover a large storage room attached to the rear of the stables. Inside are what appears to be pieces of an old catapult. With some ingenuity and a few spare parts, the catapult could be reassembled for sure. Let's get started. Okay, so in the next episode, we will go to this. This looks interesting. It's defense. Telling us no more. Interesting. Hmm. We'll have to check it out next time. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Check us out on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. In the meantime, though, I've been JB for Just TCG. This has been the Hex Shards of Fate Shin Hair Warrior Campaign, episode number 15. And I'll see you in the next one.